Did you know that there are more Chinese restaurants in America than McDonald's, Burger King, and Kentucky Fried Chicken combined? What makes Americans so crazy about Chinese food? My guest today is journalist and author of the Fortune Cookie Chronicles, Jennifer A. Lee. I'm Maria Hinojosa. This is One on One. What do we know, Jennifer, after you wrote your book, The Fortune Cookie Chronicles? What do we know about where these little pieces yeah. of thought came to be and yeah. why and, and because they're not actually they're not Chinese and they're not American and in fact you know my like main intellectual contribution to this planet at this point is <laughs> is probably kind of helping to prove that fortune cookies are Japanese in origin and we know this for two reasons one which is still today in Japan outside Kyoto they have small family run bakeries that are making fortune cookies by hand but they're they're not yellow they're not small they're like this kind of big brown uh, very nutty flavored kind of fortune cookie. And they're, they don't do them with machines. It's a very, very much an artisan craft, so that's one. And two, there is a drawing from the late 1800s that a Japanese researcher dug up through many, many, many hours of sifting through the archives in Japan. And it shows a man in a kimono, you know, back then in an etched kind of drawing, making fortune cookies. And together, we know that. And so what happened? Um, is that the Japanese immigrants came to America around the turn of the 20th century, and they brought, you know, some of them made, you know, cookies and whatnot for a living, and so they brought some of that over with them. And it's it's been fascinating because it started out sort of very localized, very Californian, kind of like a, you know, a, a, a very regional thing, but at a certain point, it became a big thing. And we were able to sort of track that back to World War II, in part, because what happened was, they were being kind of served in California, maybe Los Angeles, but m basically in the um, San Francisco Chinatown. And what happened is that San Francisco was such a big port of call, like during World War II, and you had all these soldiers going in and out of San Francisco. Of course, they went to um, the Chinatown in order to eat and to you know watch the singing and the dancing. And then they had these cookies, and they go home after the war. They go to Minnesota, Iowa, and they ask their local Chinese restaurant, "Why don't you have those authentic cookies?" And the Chinese restauranter. <laughs> Cookies, you know, and and but slowly within a, a span of basically 15 years, they go from something that's in California to a nationwide phenomenon. Mm -hmm. 